Hello guys, as we know, Microsoft is about to end this support for Windows 10. So I think it is time to move on and look something else. If you already have Windows 11 and support with PC, then you can go ahead and upgrade to Windows 11. Otherwise, there are multiple options like one of the I have, this is Pied OS. It is based on Chrome OS, uh, which we have on Chromebooks but it is open source and free to use. In this video, I am going to talk about how you can install it on virtual machine so that before installing it on your main PC or laptop, you can have experience. So first of all, open your browser and visit fireos.io. Here on the main page, you will see download button. Click on that and soon you will be on download page. Here you will see fireos for VMware, a dedicated virtual machine image which is meant for VMware. Click on that and here you will have the official download button. Click that and you will get the official image in two minutes. Depending on your internet connection, you will have the OVA image of VMware. I already have that. So right click on it and open with VMware or VMware Workstation, whatever you have. But don't use Virtual Fox because it is not going to work with that. And of course, your system should have already installed with VMware Player or VMware Workstation. Both are free. You can get any of them online from their official website or from somewhere else. Once you have VMware Player, right click on this OVA image and select Open with VMware Player or VMware Workstation, whatever you want to use. As you open it with VMware, you will see a Import Virtual Machine option. Here you have to give some name to your virtual machine like I am giving Fire OS. You can type whatever you want to assign to your virtual machine. Once done, click on import button. It will take you seconds or minutes uh, to have your virtual machine ready. Just give it some time. So here we got the logo and also the first screen which is saying use your language. So if you're using English, then let it be or you can use some other language as per your region. So here I'm going to use English. So let's click on OK button. Soon you will see uh, this uh, welcome screen. We let it be as it is and click on get started. Accept the terms and condition. For that, click on accept and continue. Again, accept and continue. Here, one thing which you have to see, Fire OS offers its own account, Fire OS account, which you have to create if you don't have already. Or you can use the Google account to have the benefit of cloud services like synchronization, password saving, backup, and so many other things. So if you want to use cloud service, then you can go any of them as per your choice whereas those who want their data on their local machine and don't want to use cloud services they can use the local account here i don't want to use cloud services that's why i am going to use the local account here click on the local account and again it will ask you whether you want to use or not yes i want to use so use the local account button click on that i'm giving name how to shout and password whatever i want to set and then click on next button it will ask you to set pin if you want then use it otherwise use the password which we have already assigned next of course here you can select the theme auto will be good or you can use the dark theme if you want here we have a fully working file os on our vmware virtual machine player fido has already made this image for vmware so that's why you don't need to add any external driver or something to make the display of FireOS running in VMware flexible and responsive. So now here we have FireOS running perfectly fine on virtual machine VMware. This is the way we can test it. Once you are sure that you want to use it on your PC or laptop, then you can go ahead and create a bootable device with FireOS on your machine.